Hey YouTube, Andrew from Snakeworks, making another short tail video. So if I asked you, what are you looking at, what would you say? Would you say you're looking at two blood pythons? You would be wrong if you said that. Even though at one point you would be correct, but now science has decided you are incorrect. The snake on the left is actually not a blood python. For a long time, that was referred to as a black blood, which is a pretty cool name. Now, that is referred to, sorry, that is referred to as Python Curtis, or a black Curtis, or just call it a short tail. This is a blood python, Python Bronger's mine, or short tail. Confused? It is kind of confusing. Especially considering there's even more types of short tails that aren't on this table. There's actually another type of Python Curtis. We have the orange head and then the caramel albino version of that. And then there's also Python Brighton Cini, aka Borneo Python. And then there is another much more rare, rarer subset of Sarawak blood python or Sarawak short tail python. It's confusing. But for now, let's just enjoy the animals. Uh, this is a, this is going to be like a 2018 or 2019 python curtis I got from Trace Hardin of Hardin Herpetologica. It's a cool animal. Nice pattern, black head. Sometimes she gets really dark. She's, her head's looking pretty dark right now, actually. Oh, that's cool. Orange eyes. This guy right here is a 2017 martyr line that was bred to a VPI stripe line blood python, and that was the result. So he is a male, he is ready to breed, and he is just waiting for some of these females to grow up. I would not breed these two snakes together. I think you'd get a very muddy looking animal. So the Bronger's Mai will go to other Bronger's Mai's. The Curtis will go to another Curtis. I actually don't have a male for this girl. Kind of ironic. Got two snakes, but without mates right there, and they can't mate together. I mean, you could put them together, but the basic point of line breeding these animals is to produce just more incredible traits and characteristics. And if you were just to breed these together, you'd end up with just probably a brown animal, which, you know, would be disappointing. Something I should say about these Curtises, they have a very aggressive feeding response, and they're also just a lot calmer in general. They're, all these are kind of crazy when they're babies, but these calm down very nicely. Unlike the Bronger's Mai, which none of mine are crazy, but I think if you're better off, if you're worried about getting a blood python or a short tail python, get one of these black ones. And I think you'd have a better first time user experience. This head's really light gray right now. His head will be dark, not quite as dark as that Curtis's head, but dark. Wow, look at that thing. Intelligent creatures searching, you see the eyes moving back and forth. All right, well, I just thought I'd make a quick video there showing you that what you're looking at, basically don't call that a blood python or somebody's gonna correct you online. We all, all know how that can go sometimes. Just helping everyone try to understand. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments and please click that subscribe button and the notification button so you know when I make new, new videos. 
All right, thank you everybody for watching. Have a good one.